we gather in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today the church celebrates the memorial of St. Josephine Bakita, a virgin, a former slave who became a member of the Canossian Sisters. Let us pray that she may also pray and intercede for all those who are slaves physically, mem uh, victims of human trafficking, that they may be set free. But also, through her intercession, those who are enslaved spiritually may also be freed by the Lord through her, through her prayers. To prepare ourselves for this Eucharistic celebration, let us ask God's pardon and mercy for our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to, and you, to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, sisters that, that I have greatly sinned in, in my, my thoughts, thoughts and in my words, in, in what, what I have done, done and in what I have failed to do. Through, through my, my fault, fault, through my fault, through my, my most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore, I ask, blessed, blessed Mary, Mary, ever-Virgin, all, all the angels, angels and saints, and, and you, my, you brothers my brothers and sisters, to pray, to pray for, for me, me to, the to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God who led Saint Josephine Bakita from abject slavery to the dignity of being your daughter and a bride of Christ, grant we pray that by her example we may show constant love for the Lord Jesus crucified, remaining steadfast in charity and prompt to show compassion to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Kings. When Solomon was old, his wives had turned his heart to strange gods, and his heart was not entirely with the Lord his God, as the heart of his father David had been. By adoring Astarte, the goddess of the Sidonians, and Milcom, the idol of the Ammonites, Solomon did evil in the sight of the Lord. He did not follow him unreservedly as his father David had done. Solomon then built a high place to Chemosh, the idol of Moab, and to Molech, the idol of the Ammonites, on the hill opposite Jerusalem. He did the same for all his foreign wives who burned incense and sacrificed to their gods. The Lord, therefore, became angry with Solomon because his heart was turned away from the, from the Lord, the God of Israel, who had appeared to him twice. For though the Lord had forbidden him this very act of the following, strange gods, Solomon had not obeyed him. So the Lord said to Solomon, Since this is what you want, and you have not kept my covenant and my statutes, which I enjoined you, I will deprive you of the kingdom and give it to your servant. I will not do this during your lifetime, however, for the sake of your father, David. It is your son whom I will deprive, nor will I take away the whole kingdom. 
I will leave your son one tribe for the sake of my servant David and of Jerusalem, which I have chosen. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Blessed are they who observe what is right, who do always what is just. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Visit us with your saving help. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. But they mingled with the nations and learned their works. They served their idols, which became a snare for them. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. They sacrificed their sons and their daughters to demons. And the Lord grew angry with his people and abhorred his inheritance. Remember us, O Lord, as you favor your people. Please all stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went to the district of Tyre. He entered the house and wanted no one to know about it, but he could not escape notice. Soon a woman, whose daughter had an unclean spirit, heard about him. She came and fell at his feet. The woman was a Greek, a Syrophoenician by birth, and she begged him to drive the demon out of her daughter. He said to her, Let the children be fed first, for it is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She replied and said to him, Lord, even the dogs under the table eat the children's scraps. Then he said to her, For saying this, you may go. The demon has gone out of your daughter. When the woman went home, she found the child lying in bed and the demon gone. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good afternoon, my dear brothers and sisters. Let us begin our reflection with a review of our faith. We were taught that Jesus is both divine and human. Dios na totoo at tao namang totoo. Hindi hati. Kalahati ay Dios, kalahati ay tao. Hindi kundi ang buong pagkatao, ang buong natural ni Jesus ay Diyos at tao. We don't have any idea of how is that possible. But that is what we were taught, that Jesus is fully divine and fully human. As a divine person, nature, divine nature, as God, He knows everything. Alam niya ang lahat ng bagay. But as a human, there is limited knowledge. He was growing in wisdom. It means that he did not understand everything at the beginning. Unti-unti niyang nakikilala ang kanyang sarili at unti-unti din niyang nakikilala kung ano ang kanyang misyon. Ito po, palagay ko ang isa sa mga dahilan kung bakit sa simula ay tinanggihan ni Jesus ang kahilingan ng babae. At hindi lamang tinanggihan, pinagsalitaan pa 
ng hindi magandang salita. Let the children be fed first. You are not a child. Only the dog, only take the food that fall from the children's tables will be given to you. Although it was not directly said that she is a dog, but the understanding is somewhat like that. But it is also the same Jesus later on towards the end of his life here on earth, I mean staying here on earth, it was Jesus himself who would say to his disciples, go, go to the whole world and proclaim the good news. Siya na nagsimulang ang pagkaunawa niya sa kanyang misyon ay para sa kanyang bayan lamang, para si Israel lamang, siya rin ay nakaunawa na siya para sa lahat. Ang kanyang misyon ay hindi lamang para sa isang piling bayan ng Diyos, kundi para sa lahat. She grew in wisdom. Hindi ba sabi ni St. Luke, when they returned to Nazareth, Jesus went home with his parents and there she grew, he grew in wisdom. As a human person, he grew in wisdom. Ito siguro ang isang pagnilayan natin. Tayo ba'y lumalago sa ating kaalaman? Do we grow also in wisdom? Do we grow also in understanding? Nagde-develop ba tayo? Oo, lahat tayo lumalaki mula sa baby, mula sa bata, mula sa teenager, mula sa nanay, tatay, hanggang sa lumaki at maging lolo at lola. We grow physically, but mentally, spiritually. And as human person, do we also grow? Do we become a better person? Better persons? Lumalago din ba tayo bilang tao? That is, I think, is one lesson that we can gain. Jesus grew in his understanding of his mission. At first, she rejected, he rejected the woman. But much, much later, he will tell his disciples, go out and tell the good news to all. That is the challenge. The second challenge is this. From the example of the woman, we should not give up. Just like the song, don't stop believing. Don't stop praying. If at first you don't get what you pray for, do not stop praying. Huwag kang susuko. Kung hindi agad-agad ipinagkaloob, huwag kang hihinto ng pagdarasal. Malay mo, ang susunod mong pagluhod, may tugon na ang Diyos. Ito yung ipinakita ni ng babae, hindi siya sumuko. At yan din palagay ko ang halimbawa ng buhay ni Santa Josefina Bakita. Gaya ng nabanggit ko sa simula, isa siyang slave, alipin. At merong kumuha sa kanyang pamilyang Italiano at siya dinala sa Italy at doon niya nakilala ang mga madring Canossians. She became a member of the Canossian order. And later on, she, was, she became an example of compassion. Alam niya ang karnasan ng maging alipin at mababa. Kaya't pinaglingkuran niya at minahal ang mga taong alipin din at mababa sa mundo. Let us not give up in prayer because in the end, the, the Lord will answer us in the best way possible. Amen.
Please all stand. Jesus Christ tore down the barrier separating Jews from Gentiles. As one people of one new and eternal covenant, let us pray to, to the God who unites us as we say, Lord of all nations, hear us. Lord of all nations, hear us. That the church throughout the world may become a channel of God's mercy, peace, and love. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of, of all, all nations, nations hear, hear us. That as a community of believers, we may not be divided by petty barriers of hatred and prejudice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of, of all, all nations, nations hear, hear us. us. That mothers who are anxious and deeply worried about their children's health may never fail to turn to Jesus for support and comfort. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of, of all, all nations, nations, hear us. That the sick and the dying may be comforted by the Father of love and mercy. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord of, of all, all nations, nations hear, hear us. us. That those who have departed from this life may rejoice forever in God's heavenly home. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord of all nations, hear, hear us. us. In silence, let us pray for the intentions offered in this Mass, as well as for our own particular intentions. Almighty God, our refuge and our strength, your wish is to unite all people. May we always be sensitive to the needs of others and never exclude anyone from our company. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please all stand. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the Virgin blessed Josephine, we humbly implore your majesty that as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth 
the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please all kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please all stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Josephine, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and save from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever.
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please, please all kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
please all stand. Let us pray. Renewed by partaking of this divine gift, we pray, O Lord, our God, that by the example of the blessed Joseph and Bakita, bearing in our body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Thank you.